Hey everyone, Rumbod here. Today's video is a little different from my usual tutorials. It's more of a hands-on test for all the Unreal Engine lovers out there. We're putting the brand new Mac Mini 2024 to the test, powered by Apple's Blazing M4 chip with a 10-core CPU, 10-core GPU, and 16 gigabytes of super-fast unified DDR5X memory. I went with the 512GB SSD, but there's also a base 256GB model for just $599, which makes this one of the best price-to-performance machines you can get right now. This thing is tiny, about the size of an Apple TV, but packed with connectivity. Two front USB-C ports, a headphone jack, three Thunderbolt 4 ports, HDMI, Ethernet, and more. Lightweight, portable, and clean on any desk. I've had it for a week now, and it's been buttery smooth in daily use. Time to see what it can do with Unreal Engine 5.6. After a quick install and fixing the Xcode path so Unreal Engine can find its build tools were ready to roll, I set up a new first-person shooter project using the Arena Shooter Variety Pack. It's a lightweight project, but perfect for showing that this Mac Mini can easily handle the basics of Unreal Engine without breaking a sweat. And here's the result. High graphics settings, smooth gameplay, and a stable 35 to 55 FPS. For a machine this small, that's just insane. Honestly, this little Mac Mini has me rethinking my entire setup. I might not go back to my Windows Tower with an RTX 3060T and an 8-core 16-thread Intel Core i7 paired with 48GB of RAM for everyday Unreal Engine work, though I'll still keep that machine for complex projects. My next upgrade will definitely be the Mac Mini Pro. For Unreal Engine, game development, and even tutorials, this is an absolute steal. If you want something fast, quiet, portable, and affordable, the Mac Mini M4 is an easy recommendation. I wasn't even an Apple fan before, but at this price, it's hard not to love it. What do you want me to test on this Mac Mini? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoy seeing Unreal Engine and other dev tools tested on this little beast, tell me so I can make more. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss the next one.